In this podcast, sorry about that, forgot to pick up my microphone. All right, in this podcast, we're going to talk about um, solubility curves. I had some requests to go over um, these questions from the um, study guide. So I'm going to go over this. Okay, first off, this is our first solubility curve here. All right, this is the one from the practice set. Basically, what it's showing you here is that you have all of these different substances dissolved in 100 grams of water and shows you how many grams of solute, solute being on this little scale right here, can be dissolved of that salt at a certain temperature, okay? So take NaNO3, for example, this line, okay? Um, you can start out by dissolving like 70 to 73, um, grams of solute in 100 grams of water at zero degrees and then as the temperature increases you can continue to add um, more solute and it will dissolve okay alright so let's look at some of the questions from the practice set alright first couple questions just ask us some solubility of some salts so what's the solubility of KCl at 5 degrees alright well we don't even have to move up for this at 5 degrees, that'd be right here. Go up, find the KCl line. That'd be right there, okay, where they cross. All right, and then you back it up over here, and you read it off the line. So I'd say it's about 28 grams. So you can dissolve about 28 grams in 100 grams of, sol of uh, solvent water at that temperature. All right, KCl at 25 degrees. Okay, so we go over to KF uh, K KCl at 25. Trace it up. This time we're about here trace that back over that's about 35 so about 35 grams can be dissolved in 100 grams of water at um, 25 degrees all right next it wants us to look at Ce2SO4 um, 3 okay so here that line you see is on the bottom all right and wants to know the solubility of this at 10 degrees okay so we go and look at 10 looks to be about six or seven degree I mean six or seven grams we'll go six grams okay and then at 50 degrees keep going all right now it looks like it is y'all I read the wrong line I said uh, six grams for this this is not good bad 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 poor wood bad all right back over here 10 degrees read up I read the wrong line okay so this bottom line is the CE line okay so we trace it all the way over and we see that it's about hmm, 13 13 grams all right and then 50 degrees we see that it's about six to seven grams okay so it's actually decreasing in solubility if you remember from the podcast solubility decreases with temperature it's probably gas okay gas is like it cold and low pressure all right, and then this one increases with an increase in temperature. So that is more than likely a salt or a solid that's being dissolved. Okay. All right, moving on, looking at some more questions. It says at 90 degrees, 10 grams of KCl was dissolved in water. Is this uh, solution saturated or unsaturated? So let's go find our KCl line at 90 degrees. All right, 90 degrees, trace it up. Here's our KCL line. All right, and it said we had how much? We have 10 grams. Okay, so at 90 degrees, we have 10 grams. We're hitting right here. Now we're looking at KCL line, which is right along here. Okay, so it is way below that line. If it is below the line, it is considered unsaturated, okay? unsaturated okay now how do you know well first off you know because it's below the line second off you know because there is less dissolved than what could be dissolved less than the maximum the maximum would be a little above 50 and there's only 10 grams so that's way 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 below the ma maximum okay all right let's look at some additional questions we have a mass of 100 grams of NaNO3 dissolved in 100 grams of water at 80 degrees. All right, so let's go find our NaNO3 line. All right, here's our NaNO3 line right there. And it says we have 100 grams 
of NaONO3 and 100 grams of water. All right, so, oops, went the wrong way. All right, 100 grams, that would put us right around this region, okay? And it's at 80 degrees, so we need to look at our temp a little bit. All right, so here's 80 degrees. Trace it all the way up. It says you're at 100, which is right here. All right, and here's your NaNO3 line. Wants to know if the sat solution is saturated or unsaturated. Again, less than the maximum. It's below the line. So again, we're unsaturated. I like my cursive there. All right. As the solution is cooled, at what temperature should solid first appear in the solution? So solid's going to start falling out when we get a temperature that is going to um, put us at an unsaturated range. So basically, let's go back. See, all right, so here is where we would be saturated. So saturated would be about 35 degrees. So anything below 35 degrees, we will have more solute than the maximum that can be dissolved. So we should start seeing some of it fall out of solution. Okay, so 35 degrees, and I'll let you guys do the explaining. All right, which compound is most soluble at 20 degrees? All right, let's go back to 20 degrees. Most soluble, that would be the highest. Well, that's going to be KI. Okay, so K, I. All right, which is least soluble at 40 degrees? Okay, well, let's go back over here. 40 degrees, and least soluble is going to be the CE2SO43. Okay, because that's the lowest. So CE2, parentheses, SO4, 3. Woo, got some good handwriting going on right now. All right, which is least soluble at 10 degrees? All right, well, let's go look at our 10 degrees. 10 degrees is going to be KClO3 because that is lower than the CE2 is at that point, okay? So KClO3 with the very lowest at 10 degrees. So we got KClO3. All right, two more questions. We have a mass of 80 degrees is dissolved at 50 degrees, KNO3. All right, KNO3, and I done forgot the question, 50 degrees, 80 grams. All right, so KNO3, 50 degrees, 80 grams. Okay, so we're right there. We are exactly saturated. We are on the line. All right, and then it says the solution is heated to 70 degrees. How many more grams do you need to be saturated? All right, so we're going to heat this puppy up to 70 degrees. So we're going to move over here and wants to know how much more we need to be saturated. Well, let's look and see what we need to be saturated at 70 degrees for KNO3. We need 130 grams. Well, the difference between 80 and 130 is going to be 50 more grams. So we're going to have to add 50 more grams to keep a saturated solution at 70 degrees. Okay, so 50 more grams. And what would happen to the solubility of oxygen gas dissolved in a solution if the temperature increased? Well, solubility would decrease, right? Because gases like low temperature, high pressure. 